Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the look of a panel in the powerful neo-noir graphic novel, Sin City. Create a new document by pressing Ctrl-N on Windows or Command-N on a Mac. Make its width 1550 pixels, its height 870 pixels, and its resolution 150 pixels per inch. Then click OK. Open a photo of someone that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. To place it into your other document, press Ctrl or Command A to select it all, and Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Open your first document, and press Ctrl or Command V to paste your photo onto it. To adjust its size, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. To see the transform's entire bounding box, press Ctrl or Command Zero. Go to a corner and press and hold Shift as you drag it in or out. If you need to reposition it, just go inside the transform and drag your photo. Then press Enter or Return. To fit it back onto your canvas, press Ctrl or Command Zero. Merge the two layers by pressing Ctrl or Command E. We'll convert our image into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. Click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Image, Adjustments, and Threshold. The threshold level defaults to 128. I'll use this amount. Next, we'll brush black around our subject. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your Pencil Tool and Pencil Picker. We'll take care of the size in a moment. Make sure its hardness and opacity are both 100%. To make your brush bigger or smaller, press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard and make sure your caps lock key is not on. Brush around your subject and fill in areas on your subject that may be distracting. Feel free to leave white around some edges to help define boundaries of the head and body. You can always change it later if you want. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill the empty layer with 50% gray. To do this, press Shift plus the F5 key at the top of your keyboard to open the fill window. Click 50% gray and click OK. Go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. Make the amount 400%. Gaussian, and Monochromatic. Then click OK. Go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. Make the angle 70 degrees and the distance 2000 pixels. Then press Enter or Return. We'll increase the Motion Blur by pressing Ctrl or Command F four more times. Change its Blend Mode to Vivid Light. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Levels. To restrict the Adjustment Layer to affect only the one layer beneath it, we need to make it into a Clipping Mask. To do this, either clip the Clipping Mask icon or press Ctrl-Alt-G on Windows or Command-Option-G on a Mac. Drag the shadow input level to the right until there's just enough rain on the face. Drag the highlight input level to the left until there's just enough rain on the black areas of your image. Next, 
We'll add a talk bubble. Open your custom shape tool. Choose shape and make the fill white. Make the stroke 8 pixels and black. Open your shape thumbnails and open your list of shape presets. Click Talk Bubbles. When you see this message, it's just asking us if we want to either replace the current thumbnails with the Talk Bubble thumbnails or if we want to add them under the current thumbnails. I'll click OK to replace them. I'll choose this one. Click the gear icon at the top and tick Define Proportions and check From Center. Drag the shape out to any size you like. To hide the paths, press Ctrl or Command H. To reposition it, press V to open your Move tool and move it. Open your Horizontal Type tool and pick a comic font. I'm using Kamika Display Regular and Bold. If you'd like to use them, I provided their links in my video's description or project files. I'll make the size 43 points and sharp. Choose Center Alignment and Black for the color. Click on the Talk bubble and type out your text. To adjust the space between your lines of text, highlight both lines and go to Window and Character. The Character panel will open. Drag the Letting icon to the left or right. Then you can close the panel. To adjust the space between two characters, click between them and press and hold Alt or Option as you press the left or right arrow key on your keyboard. I'd like to make the second line bold. I'll highlight it and click the bold font. To reposition your text on the bubble, open your Move tool and simply drag your text. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.